Hello and, hello and welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great? Zhangyang Ning from China was great Saturday in the 1500 men's and was second place. Up and coming skater out of China, it's 142 personal and 1500, really good middle distance skater. And what I wanted to point out first of all is how light he is. He's 1.78 meters, which is 5'10", 66 kilograms, 145 pounds, really lean and light. And these Chinese skaters, I think, are purposefully doing this. Their power to weight ratio is very high, and their weight is usually very low relative to their height compared to, say, the Russians or the Canadians especially are very big. So these, these guys have a different model they're working from, and I believe it's effective. With claps and with indoor ice, constant conditions, I think you do not need to be as big as you used to, and carrying around extra heft does not help the skater. So let's look at a couple things. His opener is unbelievable. And then I just wanted to show you how he puts that power to weight ratio into use uh, on the straightaway. So let's look. And look how narrow he is right here. See that? Just, it's got like a 26 inch waist. It's unreal. Okay, so let's look at his opener. It's textbook. There's almost nothing you can, I would say just watch this and do this. Let's watch it in fast motion first. Just everything's together. There's like nothing to say about that except it's excellent. Now let's look at it in slow motion real quick. Why is it good? Right away, just dynamic power, driving everything forward. Notice how the knee is coming nicely under right away. See that? Do you see how good that is? Look at this. That's as good as I've seen on anyone I've, I've analyzed. That right there. And he's only about six strokes in. Look at the crush on one skate, driving this knee forward. Very dynamic. Working against the fixed skate, I call it. Working against that. And done. And he's on the other skate doing the same thing. That knee drive, see how that's under him? Look at this line early on in a race. That's unbelievably good. So he's doing everything right. Very early on the push, he's over this skate, ready to crush down, and he's already moving. So he's so early with the pressure, he can get that knee under him and really get a lot of purchase on the skate. So that's why his opener's gray. Just very, very dynamic. Excellent hip flexibility, excellent body position and depth. Now I wanted to show you his straightaway. He's one of those guys who uses two arms up. Well, let's just look at this in slow motion. First watch it in fast motion real quick. Doesn't look all that special. But let me tell you it is. Let's watch this in slow motion. You can just see how much energy he puts into the ice and how much he travels from that energy. So I do believe that because he's light, he's light on his feet. He's very alive into the ice. You can really see it. Just real live. Again, nothing technically extraordinary about his straightaway, except for his timing is really good. His lines are good. And gets a good, I'd say, maybe stays a little too long with the skate, but he gets a really good relaxation. There's an up down to his, up down to his technique. He gets some amplitude into the ice and then he's up over that other skate. This is an excellent line to begin the push broken line here, not what you want to see. Maybe that's why his straightaways look a little um, less than ideal to me. Left to right, breaking that line. This is really broken here. But again, he's young. So, just wanted to show you that. Really light on his feet, very alive. And it's something to think about. These skaters that are lighter and quicker and just um, maybe have an advantage. That's all for this time. Uh, please comment, share, 
and subscribe. If you know someone else who might get a kick out of the channel, please let them know. All right, talk to you next time.